Hello everybody and welcome to a new weekly vlog. It is actually Saturday. I don't normally start a weekly vlog on a Saturday, so I admit I have not been a very good vlogger. Um, and I haven't vlogged anything until today, mainly because there hasn't been anything particularly to vlog. It's been April showers. We've literally had the worst <laughs> April showers in many, many, many Aprils. Let me know if you are from the UK. I I remember when I was young, we used to have April showers all the time, where it would, where the weather would just be so interchangeable every single day, hour by hour almost. And it's kind of didn't, because of climate change, that's kind of waned a bit. But this April, it has been proper April showers. You, you know, I've tried to peg out some washing and then it just gets rained on. So at the moment, it is beautiful and sunny. For the past few days, we've had really wet weather, which means I haven't been able to come out in the garden and, and cut the grass. I really need to cut the grass. Uh, mow the lawn, I should say, is more of a technical term. So today is beautiful. So I, I may, if it dries up all the dew on the grass, I may give it a cut today. Um, but we are also preparing to go out tonight and stay overnight and we are going to an engagement party. So we have to kind of get prepared and ready. So I've got some clothes on the wash uh, and I would like to peg them out. So the plan is I've set the washing line up, the rotary dryer, peg out the washing, get them dry and then we can pack and get everything ready. I need to change the cat litter trays as well so that the cats have got some fresh litter whilst we're gone. Um, hello, Bo. Hello, sweetie. So I need to just prepare things, really. Am I in your sunbeam? There we go. I will get away from your sunbeam, my little darling angel. Angel drop of delight, aren't you? Yes, you are. So, as you can see, the grass is looking rather green, which is a good thing. All the tulips are going strong. I need to deadhead the daffodils. That's one job that needs doing. But like I say, the weather's not been very good. Um, just a few quick garden updates. We have some leaves coming on the hydrangea limelight. So that's really excited about that. I don't know what to do about these. I think these are euphorbias that I put in last year. I planted them in a group of three because I wanted to give a bit more of a bush effect. But I don't know whether or not I could just space them out in the border rather than having a clump. I'm undecided with that. I think I'll, I'll decide that when it comes to moving and using these slabs. So we, we are at the point where we're nearly getting ready to have the greenhouse base put in. So we will be using, hopefully, a, quite a few of those slabs on that. So we won't have as many left over. I'm just trying to think if there's anything, anything else really important to tell you. The grass seed still hasn't come through yet. Um, it can take up to two weeks and it's been a week since I did this so and it has been kept watered because of the rain mainly so so I don't think I need to do anything much there the roses are doing really 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 well just look at these these are the ones that we put in David Austin from uh, from last summer and they are doing really really well the rose walk will look fantastic when it's all done yeah so I'm just waiting for the washing to beep on the washing machine but that's basically it for saturday morning i am going to have another coffee and just chill for a bit and there we go we have the washing pegged out for the first time this year. Well, I did try with bed sheets a few weeks ago and it got rained on after I just pegged it out. So if this is successful and it dries, it will be the first completed outside line of laundry dried of the year. <laughs> so thing, fingers crossed on this one. Oh, we have um, Rory on the bottom of the fence, well, the, the back fence, but on the top of it, he's looking at the birds. And we have Molly below. And Bo, I think he's in the little hedge. You can see him just poking through through the washing there. Uh, so the cats are out there having a really good time in the garden. Molly, like I said, I've said many times, is a fair weather creature. So you don't see her much outside in the winter. But she does like a nice fair day. 
So yes, this is a, to me, this is a beautiful sight. I, I love just looking at the washing. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's kind of like a wholesome, a wholesome feeling. Anyway, um, I know in lots of countries, there are bans on drying washing outside. I didn't know this until people were commenting in my videos <laughs> saying that where they are, that there there's a ban on drying laundry outside, which I find absolutely incredible because it's the most um, economical, ecological way of drying clothes rather than having uh, tumble dryers on all the time. I mean, we have a heat pump tumble dryer now, so it uses a lot less energy. So I don't feel as bad, but you know, this is free. This is in a cost of living crisis, drying your laundry outside is free. And I think it's a nice, wholesome domestic site. I don't think it looks ugly. I actually quite like it. I get pleasure from looking at this. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Um, do you peg out your washing? Let me know. Right, so I just thought I would show you. I'm cleaning out the three litter trays. So this is what I decided to do, and I did it last time, and it really, really worked, because often with cats, if, even if you use the plastic litter liner, which I still do, sometimes they scratch it, and the especially the, especially the clay, it goes through and it, it makes the bottom of the tray really dirty. So last time, what I decided to do was to put a layer of newspaper first, then put the plastic liner, and then put the clay litter in, and it literally saved the whole bottom. I haven't had to wash this tray. Um, and it's the same with all of them. So I've put some paper there, and then I put some paper in the big one here. So I've given everything a really good hoover, a good vacuum. I have put some puppy pads down on the carpet, and I always keep a puppy pad in here as well, just in case we have any overspills. That mat is really good for picking up all of the litter bits. So I think I need to get some more of, I've seen online some litter mats that have like, they kind of split open and they really collect all the bits. So I think I'm gonna replace all three mats with a proper litter one. But anyway, this is what we're doing for the time being and it does seem to work. So I just thought I'd give you that little litter tip. Hi everybody, this is the first time you've seen our faces in, in, in the vlog. We are at a premiere in in Stourbridge, so we will do a quick room tour when we're in there. Um, but we are going to an engagement party. Yeah, not tonight. ours. Not ours. Um, so maybe I'll get some footage of some dancing. And there's going to be a big buffet as well. Ooh. So we, we love a buffet. We love a beige buffet. We do. <laughs> also, look, we're twinning. We are twinning. twinning. We often do this and we don't realise it. No. We just walk out and we're wearing very, very similar <laughs> colours. Does anyone else do that? When well, you're I always in a get dressed first, so I wonder where you get the inspiration from. It's not subliminal. <laughs> it really isn't. charging point when you get here um, and there's a premiere in right we've just literally got through the door I'm not gonna do like a proper separate vlog I don't think on this but it was really handy from the footage I showed in the foyer you could grab extra teas and coffees and milk so that was really really good so I've grabbed some extra this is what they set you up with if you didn't grab any extra. You've got a day bed that I think can also turn into a bed over here. We've just dumped our bags and coats. 
The lampshades are a bit wonky. I'll fix those in a moment because I can't stand wonky lampshades. But the bed is big and they're always comfortable in a premiere in. There is some mood lighting on the top over here for for your boudoir needs. If you, if you want to be want to have a boudoir, a boudoir. there is a, an air conditioning unit which there we love. Art. There is well, if you can call it that. I mean, I mean, art. art anyway, it's it's fine. Uh, not to my tastes, but Stay anyway, uh, you can have breakfast as well. There's a tuck-in breakfast menu. There, you can eat and drink in the Brewers' Fair restaurant next door. There is a wardrobeette, as I want to call it, a wardrobeette. What is a hairdryer? There's a hairdryer for all your hair needs. Although, I don't plan on changing my hair, so I don't want... To... No, I don't want to blow! <laughs> no blow. Oh, the bathroom. So, I mean, obviously, they are... Just kind of basic bathrooms, aren't they? But they're clean. They are clean. They're clean. They're, they're clean as towels. There there's, is ooh, there's posh soap. There's a mini rainfall. That is the smallest rainfall, rainfall shower head I think I've ever seen. Look, it's Bayless and Harding. Oh yes, Bayless and Harding. Um, no towel situation. There's one towel and one, one hand the towel. Bed. Oh, is there an extra one in the wardrobe? Yes. Okay. Oh, there's a mirror as well. Is that is that a, a light up mirror? No. It must be. Try that. Try that little switch there. Yeah. There we go. We have a light up oh, mirror. Go, your beauty regime for my all of my beauty needs. Uh, <laughs> and what else do we have? A smoke alarm light. Yeah. No, it's fine. Oh, I can't stand this. I need to fix it already. Is there they a bottle know, opener? They know why people come to Premier. Oh, <laughs> well, for... on the desk. oh no. Even says cheers. Oh look, you can just pop your bottles on there. Wow. Let's have some mood lighting. Does this even work? Are we even on? There we go. Have some mood lighting. There's a TV on the wall. A single chair. There's a bin. Yes, no, this will do us quite nicely. Yes. Extra pillows up top. No, I think we're good to have a good evening in Stourbridge. Woo! There we go. I've unpacked in the bathroom. So that's all of our toiletries laid out. Which is good. I have stocked the wardrobe with our clothes. So that looks quite good. Now, shoes by the door because that's where they should be. Coats on the rack because that's where they should be. We've got a mat relaxing, drinking a bottle of pink Moscato, I do believe. And watching the TV programme for in a bed. I have put all of the extra milks and coffees and teas that I've bought over there. So that's good. And that's kind of it. We are all ready to... We've got how long before we're due at the party? About an hour. About an hour. So we've got an hour to chill. Well, we'll have yeah, Matt's already on a bottle. <laughs> he is on his bottle. Um, so there we go. I'm under a grotty tunnel in Stourbridge. Oh, there's several grotty tunnels. Look. There's a triad of tunnels. <laughs> I'm filming in case someone jumps out on us and we get murdered. I don't think we're going to get murdered. There will be there will be evidence. There is a chair. Someone's left a chair. No. Oh, oh, it smells away. It does. Oh, and we made it out of the tunnel alive. We are now Old Wharf Road leading onto Canal Street, and we are off to the bonded warehouse. <laughs> there we go. And we have reached our destination. There it is, right in front of the bonded warehouse. Right, we're walking home. We <laughs> it's are. all finished. It was a really good night. It was fun. They played Taylor Dane. We danced. No one else did. We even danced to Anaconda. <laughs> no one else did. Still, no. Taylor Dane, floor filler. So we're back to our room now. Car. There's a car and I'm slowly moving out the way whilst vlogging. Hi everybody, it is the morning after and we are looking glorious and feeling yeah. glorious. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't feel too bad. We didn't have too much to drink last no. night. Uh, but it, it was really fun. We had a really good uh, engagement party. We it did. was lovely. We had a lovely dance. We did, we danced. We did. I think we did say last night that we danced <laughs> on the way home before the car almost mowed us over. <laughs> but now we need to have breakfast and then back home to the cats. Yay, kitties! 
Right, so right next to the Premier Inn, you've got a Brewers' Fair. Premier Inn do do their own breakfast, but we're going to pop to the Brewers' Fair for just a little something to eat and then back home. Yeah. Right, rain check on that one. <laughs> it was a big buffet, and to be honest, we're not, we're, not, move for a we're not that hungry. We just want a little something and an orange juice, Matt wants. Yeah, anyway, juice. yeah. Juice. We could just go home and call at the shop and get an orange juice. We could. We might just wash. Yeah. So we could do that. Yeah. Should we just go that. home? Yeah. Let's just go home. Kitties look at me. Yay! Okay, so it's not quite as sunny as yesterday, but it's okay. And the cats were desperate to get out, so Rory's out on the bench. Molly, not so bothered. She's still upstairs on the bed. Uh, and Bo has been patrolling as well. Haven't you, sweetie? So, I have... Well, let's just show you the borders because I think I may have discovered some plants that have been coming back. So this is obviously what we planted, what we planted last year. So we've got some of those. That one is one that I moved and I think it will come back. Um, but I wanted... I thought I'd lost some plants over here and I don't actually think that I have. Um, especially, no, it was, it was over here. If you look here, the one plant, there is actually a little bit of green coming through. So I think I haven't lost that one. There's also a bit of green coming through there. So I think I haven't lost that one. There is even potentially something here, look, if you have a look really close. So I don't actually think I've lost that many. It's just that they were probably put back by some of the frost. And there was a couple over here that I thought, hmm, maybe it's something coming back as well. There's Rory. Um, yeah, I think potentially that could be something underneath the surface coming through. I think that there is something coming back. I'm thinking that may be something as well. So maybe I haven't lost as many as I thought, but it's not as nice a day as yesterday. Um, because remember yesterday we were drying some washing on the washing line and now I wouldn't even chance it or risk it. So I think for the, for the rest of the day, we're going to take it easy. Um, I might begin to edit the vlog that I'm filming today. Um, ready for it to go out tomorrow, which will be Monday. So it's back to work for Matt, back to work for me. I think I'll be doing another royal live chat. Uh, but it's a shame that I couldn't get the lawn mowed yesterday. Hopefully we're going to have some nice days. Of Matt did check the weather forecast and I think we're going to have some nice days or at least some dry days. That's all I need, just a dry day in the middle of the week and then I can get this cut again. Oh, we also have we also have the first signs of the seed germinating. It's definitely germinating in the front lawn, but if you look really closely and you can feel the little wisps. So, there you go. If I look, you can see it germinating. So we do have some growth. Be patient with your seed. It does take, like I said, roughly, I would say, getting on close to two weeks to get a really good coverage of, or germination, I should say. Um, and just look at those pots. I really cannot get over those pots. <laughs> they look absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait to get more bulbs planted all over in the coming year so probably around about october time i will be planting some more tulips and bulbs in the borders because i really like the way that the daffodils have come through in between where the roses are so i think i'll be planting some more like i say i've contacted um the person who did the patio area to come and look at this area so i'll be having a quote in the week to get the base made bigger for a greenhouse so again can't wait for that we'll be using up as many of those slabs as we possibly can i've just literally stuck that there at that obelisk just for the time being it, that's not its final position i haven't decided where to put them i might even put them in pots that's another thing that i really need to get as well is just a lot of pots because we've got quite a lot of space on the patio and also this area over here that could be used for pots. Um, I mean, you know, there's space here. 
that we can use. So yeah, there's a lot. And also I'm gonna ask about a pergola as well, because I think he also makes pergolas. So the idea is to have, get some height in the garden, have a pergola over the patio, and then have a bit of a extension of the pergola going along the pathway if that makes sense, so that we just get some height in that corner and we can grow things up it and it'll just look a lot better, I think, more established. Hello, we've just come back from shopping. It yeah. is Monday. It is Monday. And we've done four days. We only popped out for tonight's literally tea. tonight's team. We've come back with four meals worth of food. So mm. let's unpack. How much did it all come to? It came to 40 quid. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So Matt needed some orange squash. I don't drink orange squash, but... There we go. Regina. Oh yes, I need my Regina in my life. That is the best kitchen towel ever. So we've got a round lettuce. We're going to use that for two meals. Yeah. So we'll show you what they're going to One be in a moment. With these. Yeah, we had these um, a few weeks ago. The tortilla pockets, old El Paso, and they were very nice. We're doing them with beef or chicken? Chicken, aren't we? Beef. Oh, we're doing those with beef. Okay. Beef. Yeah. So we bought a beef. And then this for tonight. Yes, this is the Nando's Perry Bag and Remind Bake. Me. Do we need to pull anything out? Yes, the pita breads. Oh, the pita breads, they've got to defrost, haven't they? <gasps> right, so we need to defrost those. Are they the ones? Yeah. Okay, so we've also bought a country life butter because that is my favourite and it was on offer. We've got a naan bread. What are we having with the naan bread? The rice and... <coughs> What was yeah. it, the naan bread? Oh, the Thai green curry. So we've got a Thai green curry paste there. That was nice. What else do we have? Bag cheese. Oh, yes, a big, massive bag. This was £4.50, but it's the savers, and there's quite a lot in it. Was it £4.50? I think so. Let's have a look. So here's the steak no, mince. The, um, How much was the cheese? The butter was £4.50. Oh, what was the cheese? £5.60. £5.60, there we go. It's still not bad. No. Milk. We've got a milk for me. My favourite oat milk, because it's got a picture oh, yeah. of a lady in a duck suit on it. Yes, just in case you can't see, there is the lady in the duck suit. And if you look on the back, there's the back of the lady in the duck oh, suit. Oh, that's really, really cute. We like lady in duck suit. Cauliflower. Yes, the florets. We like our florets. And we've got a mashed potato and a carrot sweet mash. Yeah. Because we're lazy. And we don't want to mash anything. No. Chocolate. Chicken, that'll do two dinners. And steak pie. A steak pie. With a dunk in the top. Woohoo. Is that everything? That's everything. Well, hey. So whilst we're here, I th oh, Bo's out of his box. He has been sleeping in his cherries box over there. So just so you can see the garden for the final time this week, I desperately need to mow that lawn. And I've not been able to. Because uh, today I've been working and I've been quite busy. So that is a job for this week. Bo, do you want to come out for a bit? Yeah. Okay then, out you go for a little bit before we turn the heating on. Okay, and that is it from this week's vlog. Again, quite a, an eclectic vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. So if you have, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, Please. like, do all those things. Comment. Comment, do ever, just do everything. Just do, everything. Just do the full work. Just, just do it. So until next time, Mwah. to you all and goodbye. Bye.